internet, no work email, no music.
Welcome, welcome. Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to the first episode of the Fortcast ZA. And uh, here we go. Now they can unmute you. Uh, hopefully they can all unmute themselves and we can get uh, everything underway. And actually I want to get this. There we go. There we go. <laughs> guys, I'm on my screen. You, you can just hear awesome. Zach screaming. Guys, I'm um, on my awesome. screen, dude. <laughs> but um, <laughs> welcome to the first episode, and um, I'm quickly going to introduce um, uh, ourselves from the from the left on on that side of myself. We have uh, Zach. Um, I don't think he really needs any introduction. He's uh, a, actually a Call of Duty <laughs> guy. I don't know what he's doing right here, but uh, he's actually a Call of Duty player. But he's uh, yeah representing ATK. So uh, we have him, and then on my right hand side, on that side. We have one of uh, Ian's members that is Strogon. So, um, hey, maybe, one, maybe one of the guys that also doesn't need any introduction. And then I, I put all the hottest guy down down there. All the hot people, you know, they, they need, so they need okay, their, they okay. need their oh, own they okay. need, Yo, they need their own things going down there. Um, <laughs> but uh, obviously, oh. Cade, um, uh, the model of of Bravado, model? Um, yeah. he's not their Fortnite player. He's basically <laughs> there just there to model their clothes. Wow, um, very mad. <laughs> but he's there, and then obviously Swanee. He uh, is, is it's like a lookalike. I don't know. They mu must have been family. I don't uh, yeah, separated at birth or something. Um, we had a naughty daddy. <laughs> <laughs> or mommy. <laughs> but um, what 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 today is about is just getting everyone together. Um, and chat about the scene and and esports in South Africa with uh, with Fortnite. Um, obviously, I'm not too creative, so Fortcast is what we called it. Um, but we're gonna have a lot of topics that we're gonna go about. I ask you guys on Twitter to drop some questions, and uh, we'll get to them later on the stream. But I don't want to waste any time. This can get quite long if we don't go through the things. But mm -hmm. as I mentioned, this will be the panel every fortnight. There will be a podcast or forecast. So every second week, um, uh, then we'll get uh, different people in. Uh, we'll we'll see what happens. But that will uh, be in a, be announced in the following week to come. Okay. But the first topic that I actually want to or want to speak about is just individually. Um, I'm going to go down the line. Um, and Zach, you'll be up first. I'm just want to ask you. How did everything start for you with Fortnite? Uh, maybe, maybe going back to COD. How did the competitive scene or your competitiveness come to uh, playing Fortnite? Uh, basically, I just played Fortnite with a lot of my friends from COD. So we just played there, and then after a while, I started playing by myself and playing solos and stuff. And then my one friend, who's actually like a friend on like a friend from Overwatch, a different game that I play, and he lives in Belgium. He used to always come into my streams and he used to tell me like, yo, if you can get six kills, I'll give you like $5. I'll oh, so it's basically, $5. basically what Pony does to me on like, stream. Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah, okay, okay. And then I was like, Except yo, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. And then I kept, I kept grinding and grinding just to get, get those six kills and I, it just got me into Fortnite, basically. That was back in like season one or before that. Like a long time ago. So but that's how what, I got into Fortnite. what made you switch from, from Call of Duty to Fortnite? Um, to be honest, like Call of Duty, I don't know, it's just got like stale for me. Like it's got a lot. Like I loved competing. I loved playing at LANs, but I didn't like when it came to came to like online games and scrims and all of that stuff, like it was just it was just boring. Like I couldn't I couldn't yeah. keep playing on and on and on. Well, the money is there as well, right? For Fortnite. For Fortnite. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's another factor, but yeah. like, <laughs> you don't go down that road. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and then, Trogon, same question to you. How did you get uh, into Fortnite competitively? Uh, I started, I played PS4, I played Call of Duty, just all around games, just games. I was never that good at any of the games, especially not at COD. I was quite bad at it, to be honest. My gun skill was terrible. So when Fortnite came out, I started playing Fortnite and... The first like taste of comp I got was technically in I guess Destiny 2. That was like the only game I was really good at at the time. And then Fortnite came out. Destiny 2 was kind of a stalemate, didn't have good updates. So I was like, okay, I'll try this game out and gave it a shot on PS4. Started playing there and just kept grinding. And then yeah, the I switched to PC before the Afri Esports LAN. And then ever since I was just hooked, just couldn't stop grinding. Okay, Kade. Yo, bro, how's it, bro? 
Yeah. So, so Fortnite, uh, yes, China, <laughs> wild, bro. No, so I played, I played Call of Duty long ago, bro. Back in the day, like I started playing competitive Call of Duty in like Modern Warfare 2. Yeah. And uh, it was, uh, you know, I loved that then already, bro. Just competing on a on a game and getting better at the game and seeing yourself improve. Yeah. And I played for like four years, played Call of Duty competitively, and then I stopped playing because then I, uh, I moved away for work. Oh, yeah. So then I started working, and then when Fortnite just came out, I recently just started playing Rainbow Six, and I played Rainbow Six for like six months, and I was loving it again. I started playing again. I bought myself a, a console again. Yeah. And then uh, my one mate was saying, "Yo, bro, download Fortnite. It's really fun. It's," and this was when, bro, this is like when literally you would land at like Anarchy Acres, and you would just stay there <laughs> the whole game, bro. Yeah. And. Uh, so that's when I started playing, bro. And then I eventually, like, out of all my friends, like, we kept playing. We played the same amount. And I was just always getting a little bit better, a little bit better. Because I was just, like, wanting to improve, actually. Because that competitive nature. Yeah. And then, bro, things just fell into place, bro. I started doing well in tournaments. And I've been really enjoying it, bro. Yeah, good, 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 man. And uh, you, Swanee? Uh, I was always into Call of Duty um, back when I was on console. You started in, like, Modern Warfare 3 and then... Got hooked on the competitive side of things with Black Ops 2 League play, and then I found out about the whole South African scene and all of that. Um, and then I went, moved over to PC, um, and I got bitten by the BR bug with the H1Z1, and that's okay. what, what's really put me onto Battle Royales. And uh, I had uh, my mates that I always used to play H1 with um, were begging me, download Fortnite, download Fortnite, but I was stubborn. I was like, no, I'm H1, I'm grinding, I'm grinding. Mm. Eventually, I went over, and then, yeah, I just basically didn't play another game <laughs> since I went over. It was, I just got hooked immediately. Yeah, so basically, everyone just came from Call of Duty, and I think that's the norm right hey. now. We see a lot of people hey. from, uh, a lot of people coming from Call of Duty and just finding Fortnite very uh, well, fun to play. Yeah. Uh, uh, just, yeah. uh, I think we're going to see more, to be honest. I don't think, if Call of Duty doesn't pick up, I can imagine majority of them coming over to Fortnite. Um, and then, uh, obviously, if they're going to move over to Fortnite, I think this next question is going to be uh, a, a very important one. Um, and this is for the question, controller or keyboard? Now, my question <laughs> is, do you guys think with the current meta that players with controllers and keyboard can uh, can stay in the scene? Or do you think, listen here, they, Fortnite must make a decision and say... Okay, let's just stick with keyboard and mouse. Or do you think there's actually a, a still a place, or will there still be a place for control players? And uh, anyone can basically pitch in um, with your thoughts. No, bro. Well, here's my, here's my no, no, my thought process is this, bro. In South Africa, you know, everyone's handicapped because of ping. That's that's, yeah. that's yes, what exactly, it is. Yeah. There's nothing, nothing we can do about it. But that ping handicap, it it fucks over mouse and keyboard players a lot more than it does controller players. Exactly. Because they can't, yeah, like, dude, they can do things so fast that's like, it's too fast. Yeah. And it's like too fast that the ping doesn't even, like, register, bro. And that's, bro, it's the truth. Uh, mouse yeah. and keyboard players, if they had uh, better ping, you would see them winning almost every tournament, bro. But, like, there's always going to be exceptions if you get a really good controller player. And I think in South Africa, we have really good controller players that can keep up with the best mouse and keyboard players and that. So Maybe. I think majority, bro, people coming from like COD and controller games and that. First things first, bro, you need to get rid of that console. You need to get a PC. If you want to take, if you want to take, frames. if you want to take competitive <laughs> seriously, bro, yeah. you can do it on, you can do it on, uh, on console, but it's, it's you're only limiting yourself, bro. You capping. Yeah, yourself. you're making life a lot harder exactly. for yourself to Ooh. get good at the gump. Yeah, and and yeah. Then, like obviously editing uh, for control player is probably not as good as for a PC player. And you've got L2 that I know everyone likes saying for a control player. Oh, like, yeah, uh, that, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, obviously, like uh, Tristan, how, how much does does this um, like influence players to play a controller or keyboard? I feel like an SA controller players kind of have an advantage. I've talked to a few people about this, and a lot of people seem to agree with me. Controller players kind of seem to have an advantage, just a slight advantage in SA, mm -hmm. compared to keyboard and mouse. Since on keyboard and mouse, on our ping, it really, like, as Kate said, it limits us, because we kind of do shit too fast. Like, 
and on the controller, the up as extras, the L2 really helps on our ping since we get hit through our walls, you can hold the wall and you can get hit through it. So, I mean, if you L2 someone and you keep hitting them through the wall, it's eventually gonna kill them, I know. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, well, is there... Do you think Fortnite would make a decision saying, listen, yeah, okay, let's discard control. And, uh, no, and no, just, they, no they, never, they, never. The reason why they That's can't like, do it is because you have those players like Atlantis, Lecce, and... And uh, Issa, and Camo. Issa, and Issa, Camo, and Camo, oh my god. All yeah, those are they insane, bro. Yeah, literally goated on the sticks. So, so if, if we're taking, let's say we're talking about Call of Duty players, and we tell them, okay, well, they're coming over to Fortnite, would you say tell them, listen, yeah, get used to controllers and mouse, or would you tell them, listen, yeah, rather stick to your controller because you're used to it? Bro, well, I, I, would, that, I would say go to, don't stick on your controller. Like, stick to your scuff. You can use, learn how to use the paddles. Get a, like, double editing bind for your scuff controller. And just get used to it, because if you stick with it from the start, I feel like you can get, like, yeah, I, I I'd say What I'd say is, if you have any experience on mouse and keyboard games, like, if you've played mouse and keyboard games, and you know, like, you know the feeling of the mouse and keyboard, like, bro, or honestly, if I play mouse and keyboard, I'm fucking hopeless, dude. Like, yeah. I literally, I tried it for, like, a few days, bro. Like, I put my controller away, I said, you know what, I want to switch. This was a while back. Mm. And bro, I literally didn't even see the slightest improvement from day one to day three because like a keyboard so foreign to me. Yeah. So if you you yeah. have no keyboard experience, then just, bro, just get like practice the on the scuff. control, the get control, the practice like, on the scuff. And and, yeah. and if, it, if we're talking time period, how long would you think it would take a person to get used to going from a controller to a keyboard? Sure, I think that would take really long to get used. Nah, to it. not that long. Depends on what you put in, what you do, I guess. For example, if you play a lot, you play Kovacs a lot, like which is FPS aim is trainer. You your hand movement gets used to tracking and flicking and all those movements that are really important for playing Fortnite on PC. It but. gets used to it a lot quicker. Cause I made the switch before Afri mm -hmm. esports. Like I think I made it like two or three weeks before Afri esports, and mm -hmm. I could build properly at Afri esports, aim properly. Like I wasn't the worst player. I wasn't the best, but yeah. like. I, I could do everything like at least decently, you know. But like, yeah, but you think it? I, I was over that bump. Yeah. But you think it will definitely benefit a person if he could switch over from a controller? Yeah, yeah if I, the servers are going to become know. a reality, yeah. Uh, if I could also do think that what, this. Oh, sorry, Chokons, go for it. If I could do what high distortion did and switch back to controller, I actually like me myself, I would actually kind of want to do it, but I just can't play on controller. I think. But I also th think one of the. I would, the, but I mean, yeah. yeah. One of the things that I think is also quite off-putting is like the skill gap in in Fortnite for a new player to Oaks who've been on for months. Yeah. Yeah. Like I've got friends who are keyboard and mouse players, and they'll jump on and they're like, "Nah, I'm over it." Like the the skill gap side. So I think if you're changing from like a, a controller to a mouse and keyboard, uh, especially with no no experience, experience at all, especially right now, it's gonna, gonna be hard. You'll be put yeah. off the game. You won't you won't enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Imagine, imagine me going over now. Day. Oh my lord. There's, there's been quite a few people who've tried to like switch to master keyboard, like JJ and like uh, Hachi. They yeah. both tried to switch to master keyboard, but then they just switched back because they're like, a, it just takes too long to like get used to it completely, be like happy with yourself on master keyboard. Yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah true. especially if you like the more experience you have on a controller, I feel like yeah, the longer exactly. it's going to take you to okay. switch over. Alright, yeah. so, so, so we'll move on into that one, um, as uh, Kate has some skills outside of playing Fortnite, and being yeah. a model for BVD, but... Sorry um, bro, I, I'm, I'm reading the chat, dude, they want to see some rings, bro, yeah, right, yeah, I saw dude. riots, I saw, I saw Kate's um, face light up as yeah, soon as riots started. <laughs> okay, and then uh, another topic that I think is going to be very touchy between everyone, and I know there's a lot of people that host... Uh, I just call them mini tournaments um, within Discord or, or such. But my question is, if we if we speak to tournament organizers and we say between customs and kill races, um, how do do you think is the way forward? Do you think online tournaments should maybe just stick to kill races, or do you think they also have maybe a place for customs? We know how tricky it is, um, and uh, you know the code gets leaked and everything. But do you think there is um, a place and time for uh, for uh, customs in online tournaments? I, I honestly think customs should be the only thing forward. Kill race should be only for entertainment. Like, look at, for example, the overseas 
uh, Fortnite Friday with all the like popular streamers and such. They're playing Kill Race because it's a more entertaining format for a lot of people. It's high action. You take a lot of fights. There's a lot of stuff going place. Custom should be the only, in my opinion, the only game mode going forward because Kill Race just isn't competitive. And I, I think most of the community by now knows that as well. Yeah, but how, so, do, yeah. how, we, how do we sustain um, a custom online? Because codes get well, leaked. Yeah. People don't get in. Um, like, how do how we go yeah, forward with customs, that? Yeah, with customs, people always don't get in. The way customs work is it's literally, as everything in Fortnite, it's RNG. So if you, you can be the first one to type in the code and you still can't get in the game. So there should be, like, rule sets saying, like, if more than five people don't get in, we reset. And anything below that, sorry, you just had bad luck. Yeah, we're not resetting for you. And then also, there's been Discord bots starting to be made that you can submit your score and it's there's people that moderate it to see like people aren't like blatantly lying, etc. And then the spot counts your scores, counts your placement skills, etc. Plus the community, I feel like as the community is going to start growing, it's the community is just going to like start getting closer and closer. And I feel like why like people aren't going to start like leak codes uh, like in a while people aren't going to literally leak codes anymore like submit false scores and stuff mm. like that so <laughs> i feel like the community is going to be more trusted <laughs> so basically just stick to customs um let's see how far we can take it but so, let's say for example acgl with uh, kill races we know they still do kill races how do do you think we go about it, say, contacting ACGL or telling them, listen, yeah, we have someone that has codes. Let's take Psycho, for example. Psycho has custom codes. We can yeah. make oh, yeah. you, we can make use of him and help you out with codes or do something like that. Yeah, but I think the reason why um, ACGL still does kill race and that, it's not, I think they just want to keep those, like, weekly tournaments, bro. It's not that they, because they do, they know customs. They they were the first people to host customs yeah. in the country. And, uh, you know, it's just, bro, there's, there's so much admin with customs. So that's why it's not something hosted weekly, bro. So yeah. if it's, uh, like, if it was easily manageable, there's, like, an easy way that it, the, the game takes your score straight away and puts it in, which it, there's nothing like that yet. But, I mean, because you also, there's uh, so many different things around it. But yeah, the, I mean, main, the main thing, we just need to work on the admin behind it. Like, k keeping track of scores, keeping track of who's in lobbies. And that's, yeah. it's easy to say, but, bro, that's mm. fucking difficult. Yeah. I feel like with, yeah. the, with the help of the Discord bot, you can actually implement weekly custom tourneys as long as... I don't know, I, I really want South African customs to get to the stage where it can be like almost like invite only or at least like calls so it's like only trusted people who are playing so we know like the codes aren't going to be leaked people aren't going to be submitting like 20 kills and fourth fourth place when they got 99th place and zero kills you know because yeah. then the admin's going to be a lot easier because you just submit it the bot takes the scores and adds it to the leaderboard and then you know it's correct because no one's like no one's lying but that depends on trust and i if i'm not wrong that's how the like there's a lot of accords in for eu that are like for the pro players like benji, benji and those guys and if i'm not wrong their 20s are also like kind of the same thing also like you submit it like that and the community is just trusted and they don't what you call it they don't lie about the scores and stuff yeah and then a question to swan is if we have now people coming in um or people meaning tournament organizers like vs gaming if we use them as an example that might get into the scene what is their what do you think they uh, they should do or the format that they should run having qualifiers then semi or then bigger tournaments and smaller tournaments having cu a cup one cup two cup three a big one uh, what do you think is the perfect um way to uh, to go into the scene as a vs gaming uh, representative if you were one i think it's it's quite tricky because <laughs> there would definitely have to be qualifiers of some sort obviously there's a good idea of, I'm not going to say like top 10 players, whatever, but then we've got a good idea of who are regular competitors in South Africa and people who can hold their own in, say, a top 100 lobby, but to just automatically start excluding people in the community based on, I want to say, clout or yeah, something. Exactly. But um, yeah. I think everyone should have a fair shot. So I think if they could go about having uh, a couple rounds of qualifiers and then perhaps once, once uh, if, if maybe in a, like a league format, where uh, people say top 20 from division two go go to the new division in the new season or something like that that could work out quite well but there would definitely have to be some form of qualification yeah. 
because clout doesn't actually mean anything until you actually yeah, I just, find them. I just saw something in chat where someone said, uh, I SA Open League, I believe, have tried this out. There's a Discord bot that joins your game and enters the code for you, then does like the bubblegum chewing and then like that emotes and then leaves and then it entered the code for you. So you can't see the code. So that's a really good way for the code not to get leaked. I, I believe SA Open League tried it for a bit, Damn. but. Yeah, they, they they failed because people didn't know the system, so they didn't know how it worked, and there was also no like explanation on how it worked. So yeah. people were just like, okay, then the customs had ten people, and because only ten people knew how the system worked. But if that system does properly work, and the people use it, that could be actually a hella, yeah. hella nice way to fucking use customs. And if we look about, we have the announcement of uh, Maverick that announced a couple of weeks ago about the school cup. That has like a, an 80k prize, or oh, 80k, excuse Zach, <laughs> an 80,000 rand tournament. Um, <laughs> 80k. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think, do you think there, uh, something like that is capable for an over 18 tournament maybe? I don't know how many people is in the community that's above that age, but do you think something like that is maybe viable, Zach? Wait, what? An, 80, an under-16 tournament? An over-18. Uh, uh, over an over-18. Over oh, okay, yeah. I don't... I think for an over-18 tournament, we need, like, enough over-18 players. And obviously, Fortnite, like, being predominantly, like, people... Kids in, like, teenage, teenage years, like, between 16 and, like, 12. There's a lot of players that are in yeah. that, like, age bracket yeah. that play. So, like, having an under-16 tournament like that, that, that does work. You've seen, you've seen it work, like, a couple times. But uh, an over-18 tournament, I think we should just leave it like everyone can enter, not like just over-18. Yeah, I players. agree. I don't, yeah. I don't even want everyone can enter. the 16 one. Uh, yeah. I think it's just competitive because there's really good over-16 players that just keep, like can't compete anymore. Get cut, yeah. yeah, yeah I feel like if you're going to have an under-16 like, tournament, you, have to, you, can, you don't have to make the prize pool like as big. Rather, leave, leave it for like a big, like an actual, like yeah. when everyone's included tournament. Yeah. So, like, so maybe an under-16 and over-16, I think. I think that I don't think maybe... they should split, bro. Yeah, I don't I think, think, like, I don't think everyone split. should play with everyone. Yeah, I don't think I, so. The reason yeah. they're doing that is because I think the main reason is they're just funding it because the school gets half the prize money and they want schools to yeah. kind of yeah. get into the whole e yeah, and support the so, people that play yeah, the game. Yeah, so someone put that money in because that prize pool didn't just come from nowhere. Someone yeah, put course, the money in right. for that exact reason because they want to get schools influenced by it. And yeah, I, I yeah, because I mean, if you're fourth that player and you win your school 25k, your school's gonna be pretty impressed with you. I mean, yeah. well, I mean, <laughs> I need to be honest. Hey, I need, I need to, I need to get, I need to get Kareem at my school then, because um, I think it's gonna help <laughs> me out. Um, so if he can come over, fill in the application, you never know. Can at least I can win money somehow then. <laughs> um, but um, uh, moving along, um, we're going to talk about MGOs now, and I know this uh, will probably intrigue a lot of people because, uh, believe me, after the announcement of BVD, ATK, EN getting into the scene, everyone is scattering, getting into two people's DMs, and um, it's quite crazy what goes on. But um, the question goes, um, how does players go about approaching an MGO should they even approach an MGO um, but before you guys answer um, I've got a, 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 a voice clip of a, an Afrikaans guy uh, I won't tell you who he is yet you guys in the chat can tell me who do you think this Afrikaans guy is um, I'll play it for you guys and this is basically what he has to say about uh, this is basically it. You guys can in stream, you guys can keep quiet, listen to the stream. Um, uh, but here it goes. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, but later, you must not MGO clan here, want that is why I'm busy. All right, you must, you must not sit and fucking play still. And when you a span will you up down, and so not be now you come, and let's just say, hey, yo, a puss. We want you, and then, and then, but you, you must, you must must still play, and you must, uh, you must uh, sit down and say, yeah, man, yeah, I will, I will, I will spill for your span, man, yeah, and and then I sit down and say, in a in a span, okay, and then you can post the the picture of of the sign, the signing gift on on Twitch, okay. 
Yeah. Okay, so um, <laughs> so that was, that was basically it. Um, uh, <laughs> um, if you didn't know, that was <laughs> that was the Afrikaans pony. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, that wasn't funny. That wasn't. <laughs> Right now. That's the well. That is his Afrikaans reasoning. I'm gonna ask him now to give his <laughs> real opinion. But um, James, the question is, MGOs. How do people um, go to MGOs? What do they do? Do they even go to them and say, "This is me. I've placed. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Pick me up. I'm the best." Like, what do we do? What What do they do? Mm, so who wants to go first, bro? Yeah, okay. I think yeah. you have you, Zach. No, well. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I'll tell from my experience, day, bro. Just... Yeah, this is from my experience. So I didn't, I didn't approach Bravado because I know it caught a lot of people off guard when I got into Bravado, and a lot of people were like, "Well, what the fuck? How come I didn't get in?" And you know, people, people are always gonna have their own opinions, bro. Some yeah. people, you know, and that's it's, it is what it is. Uh, Bravado approached me, and that was after I qualified for the the for the, the World Cup. Land. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 for, uh, for the for finals the, of oh, the yeah, World Cup. Yeah. Yeah. And then I did it again in the second last week. Two last week qualifier. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> Dude, bro, that, 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 no, no, no. And that's for me. So I, I, I got lucky with the timing of everything. Bravado was looking to pick up a team when uh, when the World Cup qualifiers were going well. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's all about your place and time. But the one thing that I have noticed is when I listen to you know, MGOs speak is they say how their inboxes are always flooded with people messaging them with all their like history in the game and everything. And they say, bro, that they don't even read it. They, they keep an eye out. They, yeah, they yeah. want to see, yeah. they don't, they don't want to hear people telling them how good they are. They want to see how good you are and all that. I mean, you have people that have, uh, bro, they have, you have people that are doing well constantly in tournaments and in, and that, and they're getting picked up. It's only a matter of time. If you're putting in the work and you you getting the placements, you put in all the time to get to play and improve yourself, yeah. you're gonna get noticed. It's and only a matter of time. Then, yeah. If you haven't got noticed yet, then it's just bro, keep doing your thing and grow, get a social media yeah. presence. Yeah. Social media is an influence. It's unfortunate that you have to rely on social media, but that's how yeah. you get spotted these days. If that's you're not on social you media, yeah. it's it's like, well, come on, bro. Like, you need to put yourself out there. <laughs> mm, mm. Yeah. yeah. That's, um, that's my mm. opinion. Yeah, and I, I'll, yeah. I'll obviously I agree with that 100%. add in here then that, um, like, I told this, like, I, I think I told Trogons this as well. If you, if I am looking at a person, let's say, for instance, I, I'm looking at Swanee, picking up Swanee, if Swanee is one of those guys, he's toxic in the community, number one. He's always in fights. He always causes shit. Then yeah, I would, I would obviously Creative, not. Bro. Yeah, I would obviously <laughs> not even look at him twice. Um, you firstly need to be a good representative. You can't yeah. expect to someone to pick you up and you just, you just smear the org's name. You know. So number one, I'm mm. looking for the guy that can represent himself well and the organization. Um, and then obviously we look at placings and how you play and can you play with someone else? Are you adaptable to other play, play styles with other players? Because obviously um, with Fortnite now we have solos, we have duos, and now we hear that maybe there's going to be trio, trios. So there's a lot of that goes into it. Um, and as Cage said, yes, people get into DMs and they give your give his placings and this is who I am. That's all good and well. We do just glance through it. But you can't come to me or tell me this is me on paper and you know, people lie and then I see you in a custom and you're always last and here comes the last again. We know RNG is a big thing, but you don't go, If, for instance, if we just look at uh, at soccer, um, you don't go buy Cristiano Ronaldo just because of a name. You know how what he can do, you know you know what he brings to the game and, and to your yeah. team. So that is basically it. Um, going to organization, yes, you can, but rather get your name out there before going to someone. You can't go, you've been placing just outside top 10 or just inside top 10 and saying, listen, I got top 10, I'm quite good. Uh, how about you look at me? Yeah. No, orgs look for someone that can bring in money, that can bring it, bring in clout. If you've got a huge Twitter following or a huge whatever following, obviously it helps you. Um, yeah. And that's another thing that we talk about social media. 
is I, with everyone in Fortnite, and I think this is where maybe the Call of Duty guys have maybe a, a, a step up. Maybe they've been in the scene a bit longer, obviously. But with Fortnite, everyone needs to grow their social media. Being that Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, yeah. um, and streaming outlets, you need to grow them. Um, believe me, orcs do look at them. They do look through your um, through your social media, so looking anything bad happened. Are you are you cursing? Are you are you doing the wrong things? Are you racist? Are you all this stuff? Um, and yeah. social media is a big thing, and I think that's a big step that Fortnite can maybe take uh, in getting better at uh, at that and promoting themselves in a good way um, with hashtag for uh, uh, Fortnite ZA. And uh, we know COD ZA has their thing doing. I know Call of Duty had a uh, call, uh, what call of Call of Duty World Re League ZA to get the eyes from the from Europe and wherever onto South Africa, and it has worked because people have been speaking on streams from Europe and them uh, about it. And I think everyone collectively in Fortnite in ZA needs to step it up on social media and. And a content creation, that's the next topic we're going to talk about. It is very important to grow every single thing mm -hmm. that you can. Um, yeah. Yeah. And as I say that, Zach, your boss has spoken. You need to put on your cap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, as I said, gents, um, I don't know, Swanee, you, um, you're uh, what, the big, the, uh, I want to say the big guy of the community, but the oldest I think in the community, you've got uh, the brains, the bronze, the everything. Um, social media um, and co content creation, I come to you for that. Uh, I know you've been in streaming for a long, long while. And um, how important is it actually? Yeah, I started oh, long ago. I think from the early, early, um, not, I want to say ACGL kill races, I I've started streaming around that time, those weekly ones. It was like my Thursday thing. I would stream those and I uh, kind of got hooked then. And I can, I've seen how it's, it's assisted me. Um, just in, I've tried to build like a presence on Twitch and on Twitter um, over the last 12 or so months, maybe a bit longer. Um, and I would definitely encourage the guys, a lot of, a lot of people are wanting to get picked up and uh, I, I think there's really good players in South Africa that are not as well known purely because they don't have a presence on social media and people don't know who they are. <coughs> and only now through some time where we've had like constant tournaments happening week in, week out, where you can actually see these guys. Um, yeah. I know I know there's people, like I follow the stuff, like everything close in the scene and I know people um, that from the last say two months where we've had constant tournaments that I would have never known existed beforehand. Exactly. Um, just yeah, 100%. based on on their social media presence so i would definitely say like the starting point is not everyone's a streamer but yeah I, I think like the community for fortnite other than the discords i think like that there's like a few discords but other than that twitter is probably the place to to start building and yeah, yeah, That's and everyone's and yeah just another reminder that on twitter you can obviously upload a little clip um it doesn't mean you need to be a two five what ten minute video um clips do help it helps you grow everyone knows you Ooh. upload bangers of clips so <laughs> let's go let's go check it out um and um, another thing that i've written down from content creation is people think it's like this and you you're getting views um and i think yeah you know, it, it's 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 hours after hours after hours of of creating content not over only just through streaming but creating youtube videos um some people want to stream on youtube i know psycho streams on youtube and he has a nice following there and it's great to see the uh, versatility between twitch and youtube streaming but then we have number one is the people that's creating the uh, the content and then number two is we have people that need to support them um it doesn't help we put hours and hours and hours of content creation out there being that streaming or videos and we don't we don't help out each other you know i always say every game title is like a family um with call of duty all the call of duty guys they know each other they are tight knit uh, family if something goes wrong there mm. you know they're gonna be uh, uh, help, they're gonna, virtual, you know yeah. they they're all there and the same with fortnite people need to support if there's a video out 
if we have a if you like for everyone in stream if you are not on the fortnite whatsapp group uh, message people try and get onto it um, people share their share their um, videos and then we go click on it we we like the video and we watch what you can do and i think i don't know who it was i think it i think it might be fresh that was with that, oh, um, that video with, with that oh, one I edit. That I edit. think it was, uh, oh, right. yeah, right. that it was, was <laughs> that was really good. And like people, like we don't know what you can do. Like put it out there, and we can look what you can do. And l listen, if it gets views from from overseas, you know you're gonna climb up those views, and people's gonna mm. subscribe, and people want to see yeah. you. And if you grow on YouTube collectively, you're gonna grow on Twitch because people want to see the content that comes from both sides. Um, so yeah, like as that, as some people can't, you know, with internet mm -hmm. in South Africa, obviously. Um, I know Pony now is struggling because he's on LTE. <laughs> um, yeah. But like, you make make a plan. If you can't, support the people that can. Yeah, I agree, hundred yeah. percent. We have come a long way. I know. Just when Fact. I started off, um, say like a little over twelve months ago, I streamed Fortnite. If not every day, but I would I want to say four or five days a week multiple hours in the evenings probably close to three months averaging maybe one to three viewers if i was lucky mm. um it took me about it took me just over three months to get affiliated on twitch and now the guys who are streaming regularly who've just started are getting affiliated in a week and that's the community just going and watching and supporting yeah. and getting yeah. those bro, there's so much support bro there really is if you are yeah. if you're a good guy bro if you like a funny guy on twitter bro if you're uh, yeah. enjoyable you're not trying to cause shit all the time bro you're gonna get support dude like yeah, really yeah. just and it's gonna be support in multiple ways bro like if someone can't tune into the stream they'll at least retweet your tweet bro and that's yeah. them doing mm. their little part to support yeah. you and it's just every little bit helps yeah everyone bro for sure does their little part to help everyone yeah and um another thing that we're going to speak about now is quickly is <laughs> And I don't actually want to speak about this, but it comes also from the Call of Duty side. Is that uh, some people's toxicity, uh, if you can put it that way, in uh, they want to cause nonsense. They want to cause cuck if I want to talk in Afrikaans. Um, but yeah. uh, some people are just out there to ruin your day and cause shit, and you know. And it's sometimes um, I don't know who the hell it was, but if if we go back on Twitter and we go to my pin tweets, I don't know there was this one guy that just wanted to Yo, bash the Fortnite bruh. community. That was the perfect idea oh. about just completely ignoring the guy. Um, it's it's not <laughs> necessary to. Yeah, exactly. I know you want to make your voice. You want to make your voice heard. You want to put him in his place. Yeah. But sometimes saying nothing is the best thing to do. Yeah, for but sure, bro. Uh, no, I saw, I saw that, I saw that guy that commented. I, I don't mm. remember their name. It was just a bunch of numbers, yeah. I think, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like <laughs> literally every community, you're gonna have those people. They, yeah. they out there, bro. There's nothing you can do about it. So just ignore it. That's, honestly, that's what I do, bro. I just ignore it. Yeah. Keep yeah. it happy, dude. Keep doing your thing, bro. You just work on yourself. It doesn't matter what like the other guys are saying and you're gonna get those people that are gonna like create fake accounts just to come and fucking shit on you exactly yeah, just to shit bro, talk you and, uh, yeah, like mess just, you yeah exactly yeah. it's not it's not gonna help you in any way to lower yourself and start swearing at them back you're just gonna make yourself look like and then uh, you're giving him a platform too bro yeah, like you're giving exactly. him a platform. Giving more cloud, people are yeah. seeing his message yeah. when it's like bro it is what it is yeah Indeed. So, um, but now time for the community questions. I did say in the beginning of the stream, we asked a few people, or we actually asked everyone to uh, ask the guests today, being Zach, Tristan, Kate, and Kelden, uh, uh, some questions. Um, and uh, the first one that I've picked is uh, from Zaya saying, "What should the long-term goal be for good Fortnite orgs in SA, taking into account that we?" aren't even recognized by Epic Games and don't have service. Basically, what is the point of creating an esports team if we are currently at a huge disadvantage? Hey, bro. Hmm. Fucking hope. <laughs> are we all are we running on hope, dude. Like, yeah. listen, from, I, think, I think Epic Games does know they South Africa. Know. They, they have, definitely they know. It as well, yeah. They've like, it's just, and I'm not talking about like something Ninja said on stream or some of that yeah. shit that people retweet and like Ninja said South African service are coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, no, none Reddit, of that. Like, they've acknowledged it on Reddit. Yeah, some of the so, support yeah. stuff. Dude, we're getting, we're getting, 
so apparently yeah. servers next year when Amazon servers are yeah. and, and we're going to use that. So who knows, but we're going to have to wait and see. But, you know, for now, the tournament organizers are getting into it because of the the prize money in that, right? Exactly. Like, the, the prize yeah. money in a month of Fortnite compared, and I'm not shitting on the COD community at all. I'm just yeah. saying compared to a month exactly. of COD. And it, yeah. like compared to most yeah. of to Compared honest, to most, yeah, yeah, exactly. Fortnite's yeah. still there. So even though it's it's not recognized internationally, it's still the the top game title in South Africa. I would say it's in terms of prize money. Mm. And yeah. if these big orgs do stick around and they have opportunities to send players overseas next year exactly. for the World Cup to qualify, then Ooh. there we go. There's an opportunity, bro. Yeah. So mm. you know, but. At the moment, I think we're all just running on hope, bro. Yeah. We're yeah. all just yeah, hoping Epic, for the Epic best. Epic Games have acknowledged on Reddit, one of their support people have acknowledged on Reddit saying they have plans in the, for the future to implement uh, 20s for s- smaller sub-regions. And they, didn't, they included Asia, like Southeast Asia. They included Oceania and they included Africa as a continent. Mm. So we never know what they have in plan, what they have in store for us, but there's definitely twenties and stuff. Like they definitely have plans for us, or they at least know about us. Yeah, but and the, like yeah, the, the, that first part where you spoke about the orgs, I just think now that there is so many tournaments, it's almost weekly that something happens. It is, it's just there for they know there is an opportunity for players to go overseas and an org wants to be a part of that they want to help you with that journey and if i take um uh, the orgs like we have in the stream now with atk en and bvd they are able to do that for you if you bring if you bring that level um so if you can bring if you can bring that level it is definitely viable for the uh, organization and obviously for you um, but yes, if, to answer that question, I do think it's necessary for orgs to get mm. in. We've seen what Fortnite has done. Everyone has given it its chance, and uh, it's definitely growing quite nicely now. On to the question number two, that is from Matt saying, how did you guys come up with your gamer tags? Um, Zach, I'm going to go with you first. In, uh, Wait, Cade, which Cade, Cade, um, I, mean, I, have, I, have, I have Zach, and then I have you, so I just Deuce, like <laughs> Zach is just my name, and then Deuce is actually Deus. Uh, I, I I played this one game called Deus X Machine. I don't know what it was. Deus X. It had had that in the title, and I was like, Yo, that sounds really cool. I want to yeah. make that my name, and then that's yeah. just how I got it. Uh, uh So yeah, my my previous fucking username was Fighting Commando, and I was on PS4. <laughs> and Fight- I thought, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, that sounded that's really a, gay. Yeah, that's, yeah, a that's a gay. That's a gay username. So I mean. So I mean, I was like, oh, I, Yo, it, well, what's wrong with the... gay, bro? <laughs> no, I was just saying. No way. Come on, man. Showing on. I was just saying that the username was kind of fucked, okay? And then <laughs> when I switched over from PS4 to PC, I was like, okay, I need to change this. This is not gonna work. I'm literally gonna be bullied for this name. So I, I need a change. Yeah. And then I was like. Like, I think this is what a lot of people kind of do this. I was on, like, one of these sites. You know those, like, random name generators? Yeah. And I was literally, like, I was just, just sitting on that site, just clicking on everything, just looking and then scrolling, like, literally for hours and hours just looking for a cool name. And I saw Trigon, and then I was like, hmm, this guy actually kind of sounds sick. Yeah. And then I googled Trigon, and it turns out it's a fucking, like, a super villain from the DC universe. So I was like, okay, yeah. okay, how can I mix it? So I'm like, Trogons, and I'm like, it's like yeah, okay, that yeah. kind of sounds cool. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Swanee, I'm going to go okay. to you first before I go to Cade. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I wish I had a cool answer, but my surname, so <laughs> I just hit it with a Swanee. Just, just, just keep uh, the surname. Yeah, dude, so basically, and... Wait, uh, is your surname Swanee? No, Swanee Pool. Sony was like a was like a nickname and stuff. Uh, so I just went with it. And then, but the one question everyone always asks me, why the million eyes? It's actually because of Twitch. Um, when I was starting my Twitch channel, I wanted it to be Swanee double I, uh, and I just was like, oh, taken. So I just added an I, taken, I, taken. So eventually, <laughs> I put five eyes. Um, and then I just kind of just mi- match my gamer tag to my Twitch handle, just. Yeah, I suppose yeah. shits and giggles. Um, so Zach, uh, bro, you're um, done fighting with your mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, was, that was my brother. That was my brother. Um, oh, wait, he needed, before... He needed his pajamas. 
yeah. Before <laughs> Pony answers um, how he got his, um, I th- I found it very very hilarious on Twitter. I don't know if you guys follow Bean, um, uh, but oh, if you do bro, follow yeah. Bean, um, of Bean as pro- he hundred percent has the best family that I've ever seen. They are so supportive to what he does with his gaming and everything. And uh, his mother has Twitter. And then uh, she uh, she tweeted something to Pony. Um, I don't know if you guys if you guys remember um, what was the movie's name, Kate? Magic Mike. Magic Mark, Mike. Really? I don't know if you guys remember Magic Mike, <laughs> but there's one dance that Magic Mike does. Um, yeah, but I don't. I'm not gonna ask Pony to redo that for us. But um, yeah, I'll do it right now, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna watch, dude. <laughs> um, but Kate, Kate, how did you come up with that name? Bro, I've, uh, I used to long ago, bro, like the Modern Warfare 2 days that I was talking about, I used to be called Mystics. And then eventually, after I stopped competitive, I, uh, I you know, dude, the, everyone's path, they become a sniper and a trick shot. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. Bro, it's the path, bro. It's the only <laughs> yeah. straight I mean, path. It's true, it's true. Exactly. And, uh, and then I, I changed to Lil Doe Pony. And then from there, everyone was just calling me Pony, and then it just stuck, bro. So I, I've been Pony for like seven years now. All right, all right, Damn. cool beans. Don't question, question number three is from Matt, and uh, I know he's uh, on Twitter a lot, saying, "Could you guys please promote uh, hashtag Fortnite today montage?" Myself and three other people uh, or other editors will be editing for the community, and I actually just want to pull this up uh, to show you guys there is people that want to do something for the Fortnite community. Um, uh, but there you have his at. If you have any clips. Um, please share them. Please get into his DMs. Send him some clips. Um, him and as you can read, their three editors is uh, currently busy or trying to make something cool for the Fortnite community. And as I mentioned, if you can't put out content yourself and you have some clips, send someone like this your clips, and uh, we can get yeah. uh, we can get something out for you. But moving swiftly along, question number four is from Ghouls. He's saying. Absolutely insane guests. Yeah, I, I know I'm sexy as fuck. Um, in terms of competitive play, are we on path with the rest of the world, uh, or are we far behind? Yo, bro. That's, that's a very um, dude. That's, yeah, a, that's good a tough question. That's a tough question. Yeah. But I don't think we can really say, can we? Like, I, th- yeah, I think just I think just geographically, it immediately puts us at a disadvantage. Yeah, fair. Um, so I I would say we are we are behind. But we can only control what we can control. And I think in terms of, of what we're doing at the moment for what we have, we, we are on like the right trajectory. And yeah. if we just keep pushing and keep going, um, then we can bring ourselves in line. Obviously, there's a lot of things that have to fall into place for that to happen. Yeah, but I uh, agree with you 100%. Dude. I think we're doing really well for what we've got. Yeah, yeah. Really. I agree, I agree. I, I think for what we do have, we're doing well. Personally, that's what I think. You know, yeah, a lot content of people... Content wise and like competitive. Mm, content, we're not even close to par. Yeah, not even close. Like, oh, like, no. like, yeah. You're not even... We've got like, dude, we've got like 10, 10 people that put out YouTube vids like oh, maybe well, I mean, like, twice some, a month. Some of them, every single like, one of them. Amazing people. Bro, streaming, we're also far behind, bro. Because oh, when, yes, it gets yeah. to, when it gets to late at night, bro, and I want to go watch a stream, I'm fucking, I'm stuck with watching Delas play, bro. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, You're Punani. I used to watch Delas no, play. No, nah, but it, it's literally like, if you if if you're online late at night, one two o'clock, you're laying in bed and you just want to watch someone. The only guy that I think is maybe a a fixed schedule or a good schedule is maybe Hutch. He's the only one that's there twenty four seven streaming or, or well, it's basically his job. But he is there doing that streaming Fortnite yeah. um, from South Africa. Obviously, it's a big thing for us. He helps us in the long run because it gets out there. But um, it's always nice to see if people get a, a schedule going and um, if a certain schedule is working for you, stick with it because people's going to get accustomed to it. Okay, it's six o'clock. It's time for us. It's time for seven the line. It's, you know? yeah. it's time for seven the line. So <laughs> yep. stuff like Obas. that. Yeah, <laughs> Obas. It's time for seven the line. I know, but I, but um, <laughs> like stuff like that. So uh, yeah, as I said, we, we are far behind. Um, and obviously, it's going to pick up the the more the scene grows. Um, question mm. number, I think we did. Oh, question number five has come from Zozu. And it's not really a, oh, it is a question. It says, Pony, how much better is Zozu 
than you at building. At building, bro. This is like when that guy comes back from fucking the UK, I'm gonna <laughs> clap him, bro. <laughs> 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 bro I'm getting never I'm loses getting one v one. I am Never getting ever. 300 ping in creative, and I'm Ooh. still fucking clapping, Zach. Are we, are we <laughs> missing? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... What do you mean, bro? Well, we, we all know Zach's not the best in ADK. Um, so, you know... <laughs> Why uh, are we just wasting so... <laughs> <laughs> no, the <laughs> This is so different. No, we definitely... Zozo, you need to get back safely, all right? Come back in one piece, and then come one way or one pony. Um, he needs you. He misses you. Maybe yeah, you can beat. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you can beat him now that he's on 300 pin. 500 yeah, rand. 500. No, thousand rand bet Woo! between Zozo and I when he gets Woo! back on stream. Okay. Okay. Oh, What's, up, Zozo? Uh, What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay. What's up, man? Okay. What's up, man? <laughs> What's up, man? The wager? Okay. Uh, okay. Next one. Question number six from Riot saying, "How long do you guys think Fortnite BR will last as a competitive game?" At the rate it's going now for a while, with weekly updates, just changing the meta around every now and then, and just keeping, they, like, they just keep adding content. Like, the content in the game doesn't really kind of run out, because they just add another weapon, add another, like, yeah, update. Yeah, not all of it's good, bro. Yeah. I mean, as, as, like, every update has its ups and downs. Like, they can do four updates that's bad. It's still, like, at least something new that they're adding. It could be worse. They could be adding nothing in the game, and the game could just get, like, stale and stale because if the game doesn't get any content it's just gonna get boring after a while like yeah. after playing it forever yeah, bro. i don't know my answers kept changing bro you asked me this last mm. year i would have said it was gonna end this year you asked yeah. me now yeah, I'm gonna say it ends in two years it's yeah. good dude it keeps changing bro. I, I, i'm just yeah i, I just didn't put up as much money as they do for the comp it's probably gonna be a while i can see the yeah. fortnite lasting a hell of a lot because if they keep putting up like a lot of money like they did for the World Cup. If the World Cups are a yearly thing and it just keeps going, I can't see why people would stop, like at least like the comp players, why they would stop playing yeah. Fortnite if there's like that big amount of money on the line. And especially like if other regions like let's say Africa get servers mm. and like we start getting noticed and we have our own like qualifying, like at least, even if it's just like four, three or four slots yeah. for what you call it for World Cup, like, I feel like it's just going to keep growing if they just keep throwing the money at us like that. Because yeah, that, that's basically yeah. what they're doing. I just can't see that the way the thing's growing and uh, it's it's not even at a point that it's going to, that's it's down sloping. I just think it's keep it's going to keep rising. And I see some people, Bean saying it's three to five years, Psycho saying eight years. I, I just don't see it ending the as long as Epic just keeps everything fresh. Keep adding it literally new just stuff. depends on Epic, Dude, yeah. like what to do. So if Epic doesn't add yeah. content, it's gonna die. And that's that's if they add, stop adding content, and they don't give prize pools for the twenties, the game's gonna grow down because so, people yeah, are gonna Swanny, get bored. you go, and then it. I'm gonna go. I just wanna add on what Trogon said. Even though the competitive community will disagree with what Epic's doing week in and week out, most of the time, it, people are always gonna be bitching about aspects of the updates yeah. but as long as they are constantly making new content they're the first game to like really pioneer this like mm. weekly updates and pushing con they push they push more content and like new things harder mm. than any other game company other game, yeah yeah and even even though that that majority like the majority of that caters to the the casual players casual. they've got the biggest player base in the world because of it and because of that they've got the most money of like of any gaming company that like they've generated so much revenue in such a short amount of time yeah, and they're using yeah. that to fund tournaments they've changed so many people's lives in the last say two years yeah, and if they continue like, to do yeah, that just... direction i guarantee people are still going to play the game competitively bro, all this money we need to remember bro all this money is coming from those fucking skin purchases yes. and yeah. Shop, yeah. Like, yeah. Not, bro personally though it's not something i'm like yo bro do you know how much money i've spent <laughs> yeah. 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 A lot of yeah. yeah. so dude as long as we still fortnite keeps the casual players happy the guys that come play after school that play like on the yeah. weekend and that yeah and, Dude, if those if those players don't play Fortnite anymore, that's when we're gonna stop getting these prize pools that Epic get. Well, not we, but the competitive players that are yeah. competing. They yeah. it it all relies on the casual players, bro. So it, there comes out an update where there's a fucking swing, a fucking sword, sword. bro. Yeah. It, dude, it makes kids happy, bro. It makes yeah. the casual players happy. So I feel like sometimes they should just like separate competitive stuff from casual stuff like <laughs> get, get, get yes. a new gun 
give it like a week or two just to see how it is and see if you want to add it into competitive like the storm surge like how, how the yeah. storm surge was literally they put it into arena straight away and then instantly they saw like it wasn't good it wasn't good for competitive play like yeah. not at all um and, and so they tweaked it yeah. up a little bit and then they it back. Yeah, yeah just to, just to take what zach said um uh, if I'm looking at how Call of Duty do things, and I don't say, please, Fortnite, yeah. don't do this, is the GA, <laughs> the GA, Gentleman's no, Agreement. No, no, no. Please, no. If, yeah. Like, the thing is with Gentleman's Agreement, there's a, a competitive um, uh, mode out for, for Call of Duty, and they say, and now the, the the competitive players say, okay, this gun ain't working, this gun <laughs> ain't working, we're going we're gonna to GA this and say, sorry, we're not going to play with it. And then, uh, yeah, obviously, Call of Duty also. can't tell them, oh, you will play with it. The competitive players yeah. said, we're not going to play with it. It's a gentleman's agreement. Put it out. Um, and I think no, with... It's with, not going to happen. Yeah, it's not going to happen. happen Fortnite, yeah, exactly. No but with, with Fortnite is maybe, as Zach said, split the two. I think try all the stuff you want to in the public lobbies and the easy ones. And Like, you have Arena and you have the normal solos duos. Solos, um, yeah. Yeah. So in, in Arena, keep everything... As everyone wants it, no, what that, uh, all the stupid shit. Double barrel and yeah, drum shot don't gun don't put it into arena. Um, keep it simple. Yeah, you know, keep it simple, and then the the pros the pros have the say in what goes into those arenas. I feel like Epic Games should probably like try and talk to their World Cup qualifiers. I mean, they're probably the most reliable people to talk to if Epic Games wants to. Like, I have a bit of insight on what the competitive community wants because they all have been grinding scrims and pro only scrims and all this for like forever. And they obviously are top tier players because um, some of them qualified five times, like, for example, Clicks. Like, yeah. if they talk to those players who qualified for the World Cup and hear, okay, what do you guys want for comp mode? And like, do you guys want the comp mode and normal mode to be split? Do you guys want it the same? Like, what do you guys want? Like, what is your goal for it? Exactly. I feel like if they do that, the comp scene could be at a really good place. I feel like it's at a really mm. good place right now at the moment. Yeah. If they just vault the tech or the nerf gun. I, I mean, take away the tech. No, yeah, I love the, the, the nerf gun. gun. I don't even want that new shotgun, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love shooting the shotgun. Nice, nice, dude. Weeks, bro. The drum I gun. Dude, I thought it was the unsuppressed SMG when I picked it up. Because that's how it looked, <laughs> uh, no, no, that's how it looked when yeah. I was running over it. So I thought it was something that got unvaulted, bro. And I started shooting at a guy. Yeah. Bro, I'm hitting this guy for like fucking nine, four, 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 five, six, seven. Yeah. What the fuck? Bro, that thing yeah, sprays, exactly. bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't like the gun at all. That's why I call it the Nerf gun. Yeah, I think I think Riot Riot has the best one. He just says the ga 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 gun. <laughs> yeah, the like, ga 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 gun. Because that's basically what it does. But yeah, as I said, split the two. Um, I I'm just reading through the chat and people want to know about the WhatsApp. Um, best thing to do go on to Twitter. And message Zozu, he's got nothing to do, he's on holiday. Just message him, get into his DMs. <laughs> get, in, get into his DMs, and uh, he will add you to the WhatsApp group. Let me give him some work to do. He's on holiday, he needs to come back now. Um, but we're going to move along to question number seven, and this is the last question before we go into the last segment of the forecast. And uh, this is from Glyph saying, at the current rate and how uh, they change the game Fortnite comp is done after world cup do you guys really think that after the world cup that oh, that for, mm -hmm. like the competitive players are gonna dial down um do you think they're gonna go away and play something else what do you think is gonna happen well bro i mean yeah, she has this dog. Let the, the Fortnite competitive players that are qualifying now and that bro they can i know a lot of them have complained saying bro they're just not enjoying Fortnite anymore and you know, it's if you play a game this much for a year, you're not gonna enjoy it that much anymore. For certain people, I can imagine someone yeah. gets bored easily. But bro, as soon as those pro players move out, there's gonna be there's a gonna be whole new, new yeah, wave yeah, that moves so straight in. There's there's so exactly. many people, people who are, like, that are they're hungry, they're grinding. Bro. Yeah, like literally grinding bro, every day. Those pro scrums, end game competitor, competitors, not going nowhere, dog. Not when you've got a fucking yeah, thirty exactly. million dollar World Cup, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. Exactly. No, I, I like. I definitely think. Uh, even I think it's gonna even grow more. I think this. I, think uh, so too. I just I think this. Uh, everyone's gonna be tuning into the stream. The people that play League of Legends, that uh, the game, I completely don't understand. 
um, that they will uh, get onto Fortnite, watch Fortnite, saying, damn, this is actually cool, let me try it. Um, the people from H1, and if there is still people from H1, and people I from... Uh, <laughs> 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 Shots at Wonderful. Shots at Wonderful. I actually, I actually fu fun if I updated it two days ago. Jumped in, 13-man lobby. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uninstalled, uninstalled. Easy. Literally Literally yeah, Placement just... points have never been easier. <laughs> no, I just think <laughs> it's going to grow, man. I, I, I think with everyone's eyes going to be, I, I can think, what, half a million people is going to be on the Twitch stream watching. Um, uh, I think it's going to blow up. Um, it just all depends on what Epic does after. Are they going to keep the people interested in uh, in, in uh, Fortnite for the meanwhile because we're going into a new season, or uh, as they would say probably. But uh, yeah, I don't think at all it's going to be finished. Um, and we wait. We are reaching over an hour now, uh, or just on the dot an hour. So. We're going to end this segment off, and uh, Pony actually gave me a very good name. We're just going to call this segment The Storm Surge. Now, we all know what The Storm Surge does, um, and basically what th this segment means is I'm choosing one guy from in the stream, being Zach, Tristan, uh, Cade, and Keldon, and I'm going to ask them, or one of them, I'm going to ask 10 rapid-fire questions. As fast as they can, they're going to answer them, no thinking about it. Some of the questions can be quite tricky. Some of the questions can be a bit toxic, depending on how he answers it. <laughs> but uh, that's all on the person that is on my left-hand side. There, Zach. Zach, I'm going to in your nose there. Yeah, um, yeah. But uh, <laughs> Zach, uh, Zach is going to be the one on the fire. Oh, no. The Storm oh, Surge yeah, like segment. And, Storm uh, Surge has activated, boys. So, Zach, you can't. <laughs> panic, you have no, to answer. Right you have now. to answer every question, um, and be as truthful and honest as possible. Do I have question to explain myself, though? Uh, no. Okay. Bro, good. if you dig yourself a hole, you're gonna have to explain <laughs> yeah, yourself. Yeah, you're gonna. Have to. Have to. Okay. Holes. <laughs> okay. First one, starting off hot. Controller players or keyboard players? Who's better? Controller players on top. Most bro. underrated player. 100%, player. 100%, 100%, bro. <laughs> Most underrated player in SA. Uh, probably Keaton. Keaton, uh, K, whatever his name okay. is. But yeah, that guy. 100%. Okay. Choose one player from BVD and one player from EN to create your perfect trio. Uh, Caden Trogans, 100%. Ooh. To be playing. Oh, bro, you said that just because we. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, name your perfect loadout. What uh, would your perfect loadout be? AO, uh, wait, what AO? Scar, uh, combat, and heavy snipe, and then two heals and one heal and one mobility. All right, next question. Would you not like to team with in Fortnite? Uh, Karim. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Karim, Karim. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Are you, okay, you're cool. kidding. So you have a different answer for me? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, no different answer. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Call of Duty or Fortnite? Sure. I'd say right now, Fortnite 100%. Okay. In your right opinion, now. who has the biggest ego in Fortnite? Oof. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. In your uh, opinion. In your opinion. In it's opinion. only an, it's only an opinion. opinion. Yeah. I, th I think it's the two-time champion over here, dude. 100%. Woo! The two-time champion. Kane! Kane! Oh, Kane! I, I, I literally have, Kane! like, no Bro, ego. Literally okay, no, every it's day. Opinion. Every it's day. Fine, it's your right? opinion. Yeah, 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 Zach, it's fine. Zach, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah okay, it's fine. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I, just want, I just wanted to explain myself. <laughs> it's fine, Zach. I'm not even mad, bro. I'm not even mad. What's up, bro? I'm not mad. I'm trying to get the next man, right? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, man. You guys got to fucking catch some hands, dude. <laughs> okay, so, okay, okay, all right, I didn't expect that one. Uh, can, can I explain myself? Yes, though? you can, you can quickly. Lit literally every day I will join a Discord chat and he'll just bring up that he beat me in 1v1s like all the time. Like, every <laughs> single time. Every single time. That's fine, bro. It's ego, dude. Ego. I'm <laughs> fine, dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, next question. Who, in your opinion, is the best player right now? In this moment, who is the best player? Who would you send to to the World Cup? One player. Uh, Neymar. Okay. Next, next question. If if you could sit down and watch one streamer in SA, who would it be? Tell us live. Yes. <laughs> this guy <laughs> did. <laughs> 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 I 
I'll see. You. I'll, I'll definitely, dude, Zach. Oh, you, man. Yeah. You some every single time. You some team. beautiful kind of you. Okay, last question. Dream organization. Who would you like, join? Dream like organization in the, in the world. In the world. In the world. Dream mm. org. Hey, hundred thieves on top. Oh no, hundred thieves, hundred thieves. Thank <laughs> you. Hundred thieves, hundred thieves, hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> I also also we just say hundred thieves. Um, obviously, Nightshot being a Call of Duty god himself, yeah. and now and now yeah. doing what he's doing. Um, but yeah, gents, that is that. Um, thank you very much. Uh, you you got. I've I've been on your on on your case twenty four seven, getting you on stream, making sure everything is fine. We didn't have any hiccups in the stream, so for the first one, I think it's uh, definitely a success. Zach, Tristan, yeah. Kate, Elk Alden, thank you very much. Um, if there's anything else you want to say uh, before stream, um, you have the Twitter handles on the top side or the follow bottom. Follow me, follow me on, on Twitter. On the bottom baby, side baby. of yeah, bottom side follow of the me stream. On um, you guys can just yeah, you guys can just <laughs> follow, follow them there. Um, but you just create a code Deuce Africa in the uh, Fortnite item shop. Oh god. <laughs> sell out. <laughs> sell out. Sell out. But um, yeah, to everyone, Zach, you guys, everyone in stream, thank you very much for joining. Um, and then for everyone that's viewing. Um, I think we popped out at 78 viewers, um, so I really appreciate the support. Um, I think this is something that we can grow every fortnight, every second week. So yeah. uh, uh, every second yeah, week there will fortnight. be new faces, new topics, new questions for the storm surge. And uh, as you can see, <laughs> Pony knows exactly what to do there. And uh, as we switch <laughs> off, as we switch off, I'm going to ask every single person, Zach, Tristan, Kate, and Kelden, to do their Best Fortnite dance they can do. No, bro. No. no, 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 no I'll, I'll do it for shit. Yeah. I'll do it for content. I'll do it for content. Okay. 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 I'll, I'll, I'll make my name. I'll make my name as. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, here we go with Trogons. <laughs> Trogons. Okay. Trogons. Yeah. Trogons. Yeah. Default okay. dance. Default dance. No. Wait, wait. No, no. <laughs> Let's go. That's sick, bro. That's fucking sick. What about that other thing, dude? What other thing? That throw it up. Catch you it. Oh, you know? throw it up. You catch it, and then you hit the... Whoa. Sorry. 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 I'm done, dude. I'm done. We should have ended the stream earlier. Right. James. I actually didn't have a content. I'm sorry. 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 i am sorry i am in two weeks' time, the Sunday at 7 p.m., every single fortnight. And check you guys then. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Follow me on Twitter. That's it.